What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the inconsistent post you guys, I just got back from vacation. Anyways, let's get into the video. So let's talk about everything coming in Vanguard and Warzone Season 4 coming on Wednesday, June 22nd. And we never look back. We have a new small map coming to Warzone, which is a little bigger than Rebirth, as you can see in the map comparison. Call of Duty tweeted out, but they are still pretty close to the same size. So yeah, their key points of interest seems to be Winery, which looks like a decently good spot. Next is Town, which will probably be my drop spot for sure. Then we have Smuggler's Cove. Which is a very interesting place, to say the least. After that, we have our last key point of interest, which is Keep. It's a very basic name, but a cool place to land. So, those are the key points of interest on the other side of things. Though, we have updates to Cardera with a new POI, Storage Town. <clears throat> it's back, and it was... It was one of my main drop spots back on Verdansk. <clears throat> so yeah, there is also going to be micro POIs, mercenary vaults, and reduced vegetation. Which means less trees and plants to reduce camping spots. <clears throat> there is a armored SUV coming later in the season, which is a vehicle. A vehicle... Um, in a vehicle, as, and then, <clears throat> my bad, guys. But, um, there's a vehicle as well as a portable redeploy item coming later in the season. While fans coming at launch includes the following. ATMs, black market bo box, EMP grenades, and cash extractions. Are pretty amazing new features to spice things up as far as new modes are. Fortunes keep resurgence, <coughs> which is... Same as Reser Rebirth Resurgence, so nothing to explain there. There will also be Golden Plunder later in the season. And there will be Titanium Trials Endurance. Pretty cool there. And Rebirth of the Dead. Which is probably going to be like a zombies type mode like we had on Verdansk during that like nuke event. We had like zombies and all that. It's going to be probably similar to that, I imagine. So, yeah, that is it everything coming in warzone all right so now as we continue let's go on the vanguard side of things in multiplayer we have uss texas 1945 as you can see in the image there it's i believe it's a returning fan favorite map so that's pretty cool another map coming later is desolation which is coming later in the season then we have a new mode, which is returning to Vanguard, called Blueprint Gun Game. I will be definitely giving this game mode a shot. Anyways, now let's talk about Operators, Weapons, and Bundles coming to Vanguard. We have three Operators coming to Vanguard. First one being in the Battle Pass is Carver Bircher. The next one is Callum Hendry. Then the one coming later in the season being Akena Aloe. Sorry if I butchered his name there. While the other operators are very cool. While those operators are very cool, my bad. Let's switch over to the new weapons coming to Vanguard in Warzone. The first being the Marco 5, which is an SMG. I'll be giving that one a shot. Next is the UGM 8 which is a high-powered LMG, both being unlockable through the Battle Pass. Next being the Persia Dagger, very cool-looking weapon. I'll be glad to get my hands on that. Then we have the Vargo S, which is an Assault Rifle. Now let's turn our attention to the next three bundles coming in Season 4, being the Horseman of the Apocalypse Feminine Ultra Skin Bundle. Very interesting and cool. The next being the Rohanium Glow Reactive Mastercraft Bundle. I might have to get my hands on that. Then the last bundle at launch being the Violent Stealth Pro Pack. 
All very cool bundles and packs. Next is zombies. The last topic we have finally a round base map. Shino Numa. It will have a new exciting quest and a narrative, along with a Wonder Weapon quest, a pack a punch camo, new story intel, and they also say that there is more. So a big content update coming. I'll be having a Twitch stream over on my Twitch channel um, on Wednesday, June 22nd. So, yeah, anyways. Also, I'm just going to point this out there. Um, zombies is probably going to be one of the main things. I'll probably have two streams Wednesday. One on zombies, probably, and Vanguard, and covering all that stuff. And then another stream that's going to be on Warzone. So, yeah, all very, very cool things that I'm going to be doing. So yeah, anyways, hope to see you on the next one. And also make sure to check out the stream, and yeah, see you on the next one. Peace out.